The very first reel that I ever owned was a Mitchell 300. It brings back a lot of really good memories for me. I caught my first bass, some of the very first fish I caught as a kid fishing with my dad. So I was really excited to get the opportunity to try out this new 300 series. And let me tell you, they are awesome. There he is. Nice fish, nice fish. This is gonna be my first steelhead on the old green Mitchell 300, buddy. Oh, he's right next to shore, oh, man. Oh, nice fish. Cool, without stocking of these fish, you're not gonna be able to catch them. Let them go. The first thing I really liked was the new advanced polymeric body system, which makes the frame of the reel stronger, more durable, and lighter than your normal traditional plastic parts, which means when I'm going up and down these creeks and rivers, banging this reel into rocks and into stumps, that it's gonna last a lot longer. Here we go. Fish. fish, fish on, big one. Oh Good yeah, one. nice oh, fish, yeah. nice fish. You get that net, man. Nice fish. The new bale halo design not only reduces the overall weight of the reel, it also improves the strength of the bale, which is really important when you're battling a big fish. There he goes, there he goes. It also helps prevent line from wrapping underneath the spool, which is really important if you like to fish a lot of thin braid. Oh, on the green machine, baby. My All first right. year using the good old Mitchell 300 rod and reel combo, man. And I tell you, it's an untraditional sort of rod for steelhead fishing. But look at that drag, man. That 300, look at that thing. That thing performs flawlessly. Big fish, light tackle. You don't need that 13 foot, 12 foot steelhead rod when you come to these little creeks. You want the small, shorter rod because there's so many obstructions. We're going through the brush and everything, so it's really hard to cast with a long float rod. Not only is it a great reel, the 300 also comes in a rod and reel combo, and it performed flawlessly today. I got a chance to use it catching big steelhead in these little creeks and rivers. I also use the same rod and reel combo down in the harbor jigging for brown trout, and it's one of the lightest, most sensitive rods for fishing for walleyes. Man, this little green Mitchell machine is getting a workout and that thing is working awesome, isn't it? Drag's been burning. Look at this beautiful Great Lakes steelhead ah, nice in this pressure. little creek. How cool is that? Awesome fish. So if you want a rod and reel combo that's very affordable and it's used for multi-species fishing, check out the Mitchell 300 rod and reel series combo.